What's happening? See what I told y'all? See what I tell you? See what the hell I tell y'all? A fucking car show leads to this. A motherfucker talking about competing with each other in a car show leads to this. And y'all know what I'm talking about. DJ Envy Rick Ross. They little friendly stage car show beef they had led to the mother shit. And I think Envy got a little bit too comfortable with his mouth and that fucking paycheck he getting from Breakfast Club. I said what I said. That's what that is. He's throwing the, he's, he ran his mouth too much, not thinking about what he said, and put gunplay in the, in the situation, even though he didn't say gunplay's name, or the child's name, or the wife's name, who is very upset right now. And they talking about he, um, a lot of other shit going on with this situation. Um, he shouldn't have brought gunplay situation in the, in, in the situation anyway. That shouldn't even, he should have been just going at Rick Ross. And what you did, you went at Rick Ross about one of his people, his peers, to try to make Rick Ross be, be mad, which turned out gunplay. Richard Morales got mad. Do we gonna call him gunplay? Richard Morales, that he's 43 years old, he's a grown man, family, go to church and all that. He's not gunplay no more. He's Richard Morales. Um as a rapper, he can be gunplay all he wants when he's driving me music, but right now he's Richard Morales. And also well, let's get on gunplay. Before I even go for it, let's get on gunplay. I will say shout out to gunplay for calling DJ Envy on Charlemagne's line to consult with him about the situation like he posed to, but I will say he could have did it a little bit better. But the wrong thing is you recorded on video your conversation without letting that person know. And everybody knows in the state of Florida, that is consistent of a felony. Everybody knows that. It might not be in Texas. It might not be in Louisiana, maybe New York or L.A. or I mean, you know, California, I meant, or other states around here. But you cannot record nobody without letting them know. And a conversation like that, you know, which was funny because he was like, Emmy, you know, I slapped you in your mouth, right? He was just really letting everybody know Envy. Envy is, and we know that. We know Envy is not a tough guy. He sounds tough behind that mic on the radio, and he's been in the game and the industry, and money kind of made him have that little ego and swag about himself where he feel like he's tough. Uh, but he's just a DJ that ran with DJ Clue and some other guys uh, that was uh, back in the late 90s with Fabulous, early 2000s. He's came up over the years, but, you know, as years went, I'm going to say this. I'm gonna, when Angela, since Angela Yee been gone, his whole demeanor has kind of like changed. You know, he's kind of like, he got the big team chair right there, which is kind of, it's a nice decoration. But now it's like he on a whole different wave now by himself. And like I said, this staged ass car show beef, because it was staged, this shit was staged, but it didn't mean to go this far. They did not expect Gunplay to react the way he did. You know he crazy. You know he crazy. A damn car show, y'all. A damn car show. It's got to where we at now, y'all. And that's because of the male egos, rich nigga egos, black niggas, rich nigga egos. This is where that shit gets you. I said the last time I did a video, no matter how much money all of us got together, we still going to try to compete with each other and down the other. It's still, it ain't going to be crabs in the bucket. It's just going to be crabs in the air. You trying to knock the other person out the air and hope he don't have a parachute to catch yourself. That's what this game, this is what this shit leads to. The same way we was treating each other while we broke, when you get rich, you do the same thing. That's why you got these two black men who tried to who tried to make it seem like they're going to be behind a car show and the shit got real personal, real quick. And these are two different type of cars. They should do it. Good morning, y'all. Good motherfucking morning. And I had to get my fucking sip right there. Let y'all know that. It's the weekend coming. And I will be in Shreveport this weekend, man. Anybody out there in Shreveport, man, trying to get interviewed on the podcast, I'm bringing my equipment, man. I, we can shoot an episode out there, maybe one or two. Who knows? But I am going to try to shoot somebody. 
But back to this story right here, man. You see where the car show got us at, y'all. You see where the car show has gotten us. To now. <laughs> now. Somebody else getting invited into the situation. <laughs> Not on purpose. Accidentally. And now you got niggas talking about putting their hands on each other, whatever. Which DJ Envy said uh, somebody from Florida, one of the a, a detective from Florida, uh, called him and and, and and said, hey, um, said something to him about gunplay threatening him, and that's not cool to make, uh, you know, video somebody without them knowing. Uh, people say that's cap. Envy, uh, people say if maybe Envy did that shit, and and we all know DJ Envy Dads. He's a retired policeman, the retired detective. He may have called the state of Florida to issue out that the snitching. So we got all this shit going on now behind a car show. All this shit behind a car show, y'all. All this shit behind a car show. It's not like niggas don't even know. Niggas that ran out of stuff to be behind with each other with now. It's like, I can't even beef with you on, uh, on who got the hottest song or who this, that. I mean, we can't uh, beef with each other on gang shit, territorial shit, hood shit, no East Coast, West Coast shit. You can't do that. That shit played out. So now you want to be behind car shows? And look what the car show led to. <laughs> Niggas are acting like they really don't like each other. Y'all know y'all like each other, man. You trying to get a re you gotta have we, we gotta be entertained by somebody. When the entertainers run out of shit to entertain us with, they gotta create some shit to entertain us with, and that's what they did. Rick Ross can't drink. he's not gonna drop another port of Miami or nothing like that. He's running out of music to talk about. Cause he did so much shit that he man, what else to do? Open up another restaurant or something? But I mean, it was it was cool and fun when y'all was joking, joking, but the shit started getting to the kids and now other kids that don't have nothing to do with the situation, other families, and then now you got the the, 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 the big people, you got the folks watching y'all now. Over a motherfucking car show, all over a car show, all over a car show, y'all. I'm out like a fat kid in dodgeball. <laughs> it's just crazy, y'all. In my uncommercial voice. 